Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf6, and this is my last video of 2018. For this video, I'd like to take a look back at some of the history of the Eric Surf6 channel. And this video is compliments of Scott Kramer. More about Scott in a minute. So when I was trying to figure out what to make for my last video of the year, I was looking through some of my comments and I found this specific comment. Let me read it to you so I don't get it wrong. The comment said, Scott Kramer made a video about you. Dang. And dang is like all in caps. So I thought, wow, this is peculiar. So I went over to Scott's channel and browsed around a little bit. And it turns out he's got a really popular channel. He's a very good presenter. He's really, really funny. I mean, I, I like the guy a lot. I, th I thought he makes really good videos. But here's the thing. The genre or type of videos that he makes is criticizing and exposing people for you know, like naughty things. So I thought, well, you know, what's he going to make a video about? Is he going to talk about my poor table manners? Or is he going to get on me for being rude to guests that I have on the show? Or what's it going to be? And I got a little nervous. Well, then I found the video and wow, was I shocked. So I hope that Scott doesn't mind me using the footage. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and show the video. I'll do a little bit of maybe reacting to it as well, but I want to show pretty much the whole thing in its entirety. So, <sighs> unbelievable. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this, but anyway, here it is. Enjoy. His name is Eric Surf 6 So Eric has a little under 700,000 subscribers on his channel. I wanna check and see when he first uploaded. The first video he ever posted was 11 years ago. 11 years ago, you weren't even born. So if you haven't heard of this guy, you might be thinking, okay, what does he do? What's his shtick? For the longest time, what he always did was he did like magic tricks and magic trick tutorials. And boy, when I was a kid, that was my favorite thing in the world. Like this one right here, the pencil trick. Okay, I haven't watched this video in probably nine years, but I still remember how to do it. I'm using a spoon. Okay, what you do is you take the spoon and or, or the pencil usually. You have it in your hands like this and you just gotta try to get it from up here down to the bottom like that. How did I do that? That was just muscle memory. I did this so much when I was a kid. You've got it resting here on the top. And what you wanna do is bring it down to the bottom right there. Yep, yep, yep. And there it's on the bottom. I mean, it doesn't seem like that cool of a trick, but try to do it for yourself, okay? Just try to get it from here and then now it's down there, okay? It's without your hands ever coming apart. Your hands are touching the whole time. I mean, I, maybe it's not as cool as I remember. This video has 12 million views. And if you think that's a lot, that's not even close to his most viewed video. His most viewed video has 132 million views. That's like Demi Lovato numbers. What is this video you might ask? 132 million views? It must be an incredible video. It is. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do here is high jump into the pool. And the, the, the high jump that I learned with was you, you just, you kick a leg up and then you're kind of, and flopping into the pool. So that's what we're gonna try to do. This is Eric, this guy. He's like in his 50s, maybe in his 60s by now. Well, for the record, Scott, I am 54 years old. He's just like, he's the fun uncle of YouTube. How can you not love this guy? He's like a goofy cartoon character. Wow. All right. Damn, Eric, you looking good for your age, for real. I'm not kidding, okay, that wasn't a joke. He actually looks pretty good for his age. Somebody called him Uncle Eric in the background. Did you hear that? It, it was meant to be. Here we go, baby, you got it, you got it, yep. <laughs> it's so 2011. <laughs> That's probably just the algorithm doing its thing, but I mean, congratulations, dude. 132 million views, almost 133 million views. That was a pool jump epic fail if I ever saw one. I, I, am I in the water? <laughs> Uh, we gotta do this again. He's just such a goof. How can you not love this guy? <laughs> Get some. Get some, baby. Yeah. I love it. It's wholesome. It's fun. I love it. I want to watch a couple of these other videos to really just give you the full Eric Surf 6 experience because he's more than just like, you know, magic tricks. He's more than just viral epic fail videos. He does this thing called Eric Mealtime, which I wonder, I don't know if he can get in legal trouble for that because it's, I mean, dangerously close to epic mealtime. And I think he, per he did that on purpose, but he just goes and he eats 
stuff. He lives in Japan, so they have a lot of interesting things that people want to see, I guess. And some of these videos have crazy amounts of views. One in particular is an all-you-can-eat strawberry place. Never heard of that before, but it's like a garden that you go to and there's just strawberries everywhere and you pay a fee, you go in and you just chow down. 25 million views, Eric? Eric, 25 million? Oh yeah, I got my swim trunks on, by the way. Cause we're surfing today, baby. 25 million views on an all-you-can-eat strawberry buffet. I, we have to watch it. Guess what? I'm in an all-you-can-eat strawberry place. Check it out. Look at these things. <laughs> It looks like his mouth was already just plump full of strawberries when he put that one in. I just love this guy. He's got the most interesting look and sound and he's just, I'm, I'm so happy right now. 30 minutes, I'll eat as many as I can. For real, this makes me really, really, really want strawberries. So the video is two and a half minutes long and the whole thing is just him eating strawberries, which is amazing. I love that so much. But then at the very end, there's this really weird clip that feels like it shouldn't be there. So he gets done eating his strawberries and then we get this little gem. Well, that was delightful. What? <laughs> there it is, 300 push-ups complete. 9,700 to go. It's three days complete of the 100-day push-up challenge. I'm doing 10,000 push-ups in 100 days. That's the challenge. He's doing 100 push-ups every day for 100 days. If you didn't know that going into this video, which I'm sure most of these 25 million people didn't know, that is just... That is just the cherry on top of the already perfect video. Well, quick side note, the reason why I put the push-ups challenge at the end of the video was because I thought that the strawberry video wasn't good enough. I thought it sucked. I was gonna scrap it. Yeah, so, whew. If you're not convinced yet that this man is a legend. Ha, <laughs> I'm not convinced. Let us just continue on. When I was younger, my favorite videos were the magic tricks because that was mainly what he was doing. But now, I, the videos of him eating, it's just like, the weirdest, most satisfying thing. I, I, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. You just need to watch him eating this big old vine of grapes. What in the world? Look at these grapes. What in the world is right? Why are they hanging by a rope from the ceiling, Eric? Explain yourself, man. You can't just start a video like that and not bring it up. Who put those grapes there, Eric? Come on, man. They're ginormous. Like the size of a golf ball, just about. Incredible. Shall we eat? Bursting with flavor. Oh, I want them so bad. This is why people watch what mukbang, is that what they're called? And I, I get it. I mean, especially this guy though, look at him. He's, he looks like a bulldog, just I almost wish the juice was just dripping out of his mouth while he was eating it. Is that a little too far? A little too much? Okay. <laughs> it's the same as the strawberry video, right? It's just a minute and a half of him eating grapes. Guess how many views this one has? 10 million. Bro, 10 million? Come on, man. Tell me this man isn't the best. I just need to clarify, okay? I am not making fun of this guy, okay? I genuinely really, really, really like his videos and I have since I was a kid, okay? I love this guy. It's like really comforting to just watch this type of video. I just, I trust him, okay? I trust him. If I were to jump out this window right now, I would trust that Eric would be there to catch me. You're not really gonna jump, are ya? But, but if you have to, go ahead, I'm ready. I'm in such a good mood. Maybe it's because I'm wearing swim trunks. Maybe the swim trunks are giving me positive vibes, okay? But I really think it's Eric. I think he's just making me happy. Hey yo, this is Mr. Austin TV. Are you watching Eric Surf 6? Get some! Oh boy, this is my favorite. Eric Surf 6, he is the greatest. He is funny, it ain't boring. Cause they had to drop my comedy and good story. Hey, that's a nice bikini you got there. 
it. Stop looking at her bikinis, man. It's There's worth wire it. In it. That's why it's expensive. It's worth it. Eric, chill with that camera angle. What what are you doing, Eric? What what's the wire do? It's like a hold the titties, man. Duh. <laughs> and it just <laughs> It just ends like that. Oh. I love it. I love it. Okay. Last video, I swear this is the last video I'm gonna show you. Do you remember the scary maze game that was happening? Like you'd play the game and then, I think it was if you failed or maybe when you got to the end, then that scary face would pop up and it'd, oh, go bits. You jump scare, everyone was doing it back in the day. Well, Eric made a video called Scary Maze Game Reaction. Okay, the premise is that his child, his young child is pranking him. His young child set this game up and he's like, hey dad, come on in and play this game. It's really fun. And Eric's just like, okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's playing it coy, right? He's clueless. He settles in, you know, he feels comfortable. He's, he's, he feels safe. This is easy, man. I got it, I got it, I got it. Piece of cake, here we go. He's getting confident. Oh wow, you're ugly. Seems like a genuine reaction, right? I, I didn't think twice about it. I was like, that's a pretty fun, silly little video. And then I watched until the end. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Eric gets up and shuts the camera off. If he didn't know that there was a camera recording him, why did he get up and shut it off? He could have just cut that part out, right? He could have cut the part where he walked and turned the camera. He could have cut that out of the video. I don't know if it was a conscious decision that he didn't, or he just like didn't realize that I might notice this nearly 10 years later, but it's just another reason to me that it just seems so wholesome. Like he doesn't care that people know that it's fake or not. It's just a fun video him and his kid made. <laughs> I really appreciate that he does stuff like that, whether he did it on purpose or not. All right, now let's get to the real reason why I'm making this video, the meat and potatoes. In that bikini video, there was a little like theme song at the beginning that I'm guessing one of his fans made a while back. Oh boy, this is my favorite. Eric serves six, he is the greatest. And you know, I was vibing to it. You know, I felt, I was feeling it a little bit, but it's been, a long time since that song was made and he's not using it anymore. He's not using anything anymore. He just starts his videos. He's still uploading very frequently, like multiple times a week and his social blade is still popping. He's even still active in the comment section of these old videos. So here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna make Eric a new theme song cause I appreciate him a lot, okay? And I respect him a lot. So I wanna show that by making him a new theme song. And I want you guys to help me out getting him to notice it. I really, really want him to use it. Maybe just once, maybe in a video of him like eating a giant bag of circus peanuts or something, I don't know. But I think it would be so cool if we could get Eric to use this new theme song in one of his videos. We're in this together, okay? It's you and me and him. And also so him and these guys right here, okay? We're all in this together. So without any further ado, here is the hopefully new Eric Surf 6 intro song. Enjoy. I'm the ringleader gonna bring you along with me, with me. Step in my theater, here's a taste what you're gonna see. Magic man, magic man, that's the persona, baby. And Japan, and Japan, that's where the home is, baby. Back again, back again, yeah, you know it, baby. Lord knows how hard it's working. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some, that's the motto. Make sure you sub Eric Surf 6. Sub Eric Surf 6. Sub, Sub to Scott Eric Kramer. Surf Scott makes excellent videos. Thank you so much for making that video, Scott. You are the man. And you guys should definitely go take a look at Scott's channel. There's a link somewhere on the screen. That's going to do it for this year. I wish you guys the best for next year. And I will see you in the next one.